Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we are going to be giving you my full room tour. So, the plan is I'm going to show you my full room and I'm going to be showing you my Lego room. Now, my room's a little weird because it has a second level in it and we'll discuss that in a bit. Uh, but we're going to get started, so come along. Um, so, yes, here it is. Uh, we're going to start off right over here. Uh, we have, you can focus and come over here. We have a beautiful look at my pride and joy, my favorite Lego Star Wars set of all time, the UCS Millennium Falcon. We could get some upper angleage. It is very nice looking. Um, and, and just a beautiful set. And then over there, you have, also have some of these floating shelves from Ikea. Very useful. Um, you can have the Apollo 11 Saturn V, uh, which is very cool. We also have this guy, which is the Aston Martin. We have the Batmobile uh, and Yoda set. We also have a little Mandalorian sign. There, we also have some signed pictures, including one of my favorites, Harrison Ford, uh, some beach balls and other stuff. Down here, you move down, we have the UCS Republic gunship with minifigures and everything. Very cool set, very very nice. Um, so we're going to move forward, uh, and I stepped on something, and those are my shoes. Um, so we're going to ignore that, come over here, uh, and we're going to take a look at the UCS at, -AT. Now this is a very big set. Right along there, you can look at this, you get this nice angle right here, you get to look at all of some of the best Star Wars ships of all time in Lego. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You also have a chair there. Uh, and then moving over here, we're going to zoom in on some of these sets quickly. We have my Muppet Theater, uh, and under it we have um, Winnie the Pooh, we have Minnie and Mickey's over here. We also have Seinfeld, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have the friend set, Sesame Street, again, adjacent from the Muppets. Home Alone, one of my favorites. Uh, and then we have a variety, uh, some of the holiday theme sets down there. We have some pretty epic brick heads. Uh, and we have these guys up here, just some other fun stuff, including Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets. Uh, and then we're going to move back um, to my cameraman who's holding this. Uh, and we're going to move over here. Look at this. So first off, we have the Daily Bugle. Come here. Uh, we're going to take a look. This is a beautiful, gorgeous set. We have a little alarm there. <laughs> yes, alarm. Very nice look. Thank you. Uh, and then over here, you're going to probably want to get a better angle from this way. We have the Disney Castle. This is a great set. One of my first like, really big Lego sets. So it's always going to have a nice place in my heart with the Disney train and train station, um, which is very cool. And then we're going to move over here. Uh, th this is my closet. Uh, we're going to focus upwards, so that way you don't have to look at my clothes. We have some books and other fun things down there. Very nice. Okay. Uh, and then this is my, my side table. We're reading a book right now. Very exciting. Of lots of fun stuff here. Uh, we have my bed. Uh, very nice. <laughs> um, it comes with a little baby Yoda. I, I like this thing a lot. It is very soft and, and very, very nice. Very soft. Uh, and then we have some other posters and stuff. Uh, and you can look up there. Um, and we actually have a, a Muppet poster and a Star Wars poster. And then you can look over there. Uh, and we have another Star Wars poster. Uh, and, and here is a YouTube thing that was sent to me in a special box by YouTube. Uh, now I am going to take you upstairs. So we are now upstairs. Uh, this is where a lot of my Muppet collection is. Now, for those who have been around the channel for a really long time, you know this is where I started off. I'm going to show you exactly the area I started off. Um, but this is where my original LEGO studio was. So first off, this is now a live streaming area. I have this little Skywalker Saga cloth poster I recently bought, which is very nice. Um, and then we move over here. We just have some basic stuff. Um, a lot of my Muppet collection is here. This is kind of where I do a lot of the gaming that happens. By gaming, I mean the Skywalker Saga, and that's it. Um, we have this nice signed picture from D. Bradley Baker here, actually. Um, very cool. Very nice. Uh, and we also have uh, my, my little mini fridge, uh, which consists of, let, let's open it up, a Dr. Pepper that's been here for a long time, some M&Ms, and a trail mix. Not, not a bad haul. Uh, then we're going to move over here. This is my... Muppet collection from, I have a problem, um, so, so there it is, H hi. Uh, and then over here on this table is kind of like my prep table if I need something I'm going to be building. Right now we're working on the UCS Star Destroyer, so there's a big build process. We also have some Muppets down there, yeah. Um, and we're also charging my mic or my, not microphone, my light. 
Very cool. Uh, now we're going to move over to this closet, but first you have a little Darth Vader uh, dr dressed up as Frank Sinatra type of thing. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is where it all started. My first ever studio right there, still set up to this day. Um, lots of mentos uh, there, lots of other just general stuff that you may or may not have seen. The camera microphone I'm recording this on is in there. Um, and then you can move in here, and I had another studio in here, and it's very warm now. Uh, I had another studio in here, it was very not good. Uh, and now it is just stuff like, look, there is a Cape Cantina package from something over there. All right, now let's go. So, now that we're done, we are going to head on downstairs to show you the full Lego room. Okay, we are now in the basement, and, and my camera is going to back up, and we have a look uh, at my box collection. It is very cool. I hope I'm in the shot. We have lots of Star Wars boxes. We have classic Clone Wars boxes here. That's a T6 shuttle. Uh, we have the Seinfeld set, like I showed you earlier. Cantina, some classics. One, of, This was like my first truly big Lego Star Wars set here, the Ewok Village. I still have the box. Beautiful set. I love it. One of my favorites. We have some boxes that have fallen over here. I, I ran out of stuff to put them under. And then we're going to turn around. Uh, and we have all of these over here. So this is more non-Star Wars. I mean, we have a, a lot of Star Wars, I'll be honest. We have uh, UCS boxes. I actually have a Star Destroyer. So once I do a review on that, that will be going down there with those big boys. Uh, we have some other ones like the Home Alone set, uh, Castle, Saturn V, all the stuff you saw earlier. Uh, it's really cool. If you want to come this way, um, we are going to be looking. This is... I just have a lot of miscellaneous stuff on here, I'll be 100% honest. Random Star Wars plushies, I, I don't know. We have, we have a box. Okay, uh, we have Baby Yoda, that sort of fun stuff. Posters, here's the box for the Star Destroyer. Some other Star Wars boxes, I don't have all of them uh, open, so I'll like flatten them and put them in here. So we have a lot of those there too. Uh, and then you're gonna come this way. And ladies and gentlemen, this is it. All right, so we're gonna start in here. So a little background on this room real quick. Um, it started off as a little gym area for the previous owners, and then it was my sister's diva den, whatever that means. Uh, and then I took it over to take its rightful place as a Lego room in the basement. Um, so starting off here, this is the main recording studio. You're gonna recognize this a lot if you watched any of my videos at all. Um, so first off, we have this nice uh, table that was actually sent to me. Uh, for a little video promotion by Flexispot. It lifts like really high. It's a tall table. You get it. So we're going to send it back to three. We're going to take a look here. Uh, so this is my sealed set collection. It doesn't look like a lot, but there's so many sets here. Uh, you know, you just pack them in. There is so much little stuff that just permeates this shelf. I like to keep a sealed collection. My goal is to have at least a sealed version of one of every battle pack. So I'm like starting that with these. We have some classics, iconic set right there. Uh, and then we have some other stuff. We have some new sets. We have some of the Amperus. We have a lot. I believe I have seven or eight of the Mando Starfighters. Got these for like 35 bucks each at Costco. We're gonna go down there. Uh, we have a look at some just general sets and like all my micro builds and sets are down there. Some SpongeBob. Move over here. We have some cool store displays. We have the Muppets minifigure series display, uh, which is really cool looking. Uh, and you also have some 501st battle packs down there, um, you notice, and as well as some just miscellaneous bricks. Uh, and then we also have this little store display uh, for this. We also have a 2014 Lego Star Wars poster. Beautiful year for Lego Star Wars. Thank you. Um, okay, so moving forward, we have the main background. I love to keep this thing looking nice. Uh, and it looks good. Um, now, the way basically this works, we have a lot of different sections. So this is kind of like my Imperial section. I threw a Mando in there because we get some Mandalorian stuff going on. This is really the heavily Empire section. We have the Inquisitor Scythe, uh, shuttles. Down there we have a little bit of miscellaneous play sets. Uh, if we could zoom in on those, we have the Ewok Village, again, one of my favorites. Uh, we have some, you know, just general other stuff on the lowest levels. Um, moving forward, if you come here, we have a little Republic shelf. It's very cool. Uh, this is like the main shelf. Just I like to keep a lot of cool UCS style sets. We have the UCS R2, UCS A-Wing, uh, Republic fighter tanks, and 501st ships. Uh, we also have uh, all of this. We have minifigure displays. We have one here, and then if we want to zoom on that one over there, 
It is a very cool display. It comes with pretty much all my nice minifigures. We have a little bit of a Luke Skywalker display here with his land speeder. X-Wing, just recency bias, so I kind of like to take up the time, get his lightsaber. And then you move up here, uh, we have some of my favorite minifigures here, if you want to zoom on this. These are like my favorite minifigures of all time, based off of my Rico Lego Star Wars story and Clone Trader series. They are very cool, very iconic characters from my channel. You move over here, you have Ahsoka and a Gonk droid, uh, and Darth Vader. And we also have some a custom piece that I put together, Bad Bat Shuttle, that sort of stuff. Uh, now, this is usually how I coordinate all my videos. Uh, I'll start. Basically, I'll come down here and I'll, and I'll press this button. Uh, and basically, I press this button, you zoom in there, and like that, uh, that button will briefly turn on all the lights. We have a nice light here. This is one of the newer lights. It is called N E E W E R. You'd actually adjust all the brightness and that sort of stuff. So it's a really convenient light and the same type of a deal uh, for this light over here. You could adjust all of the different light settings and the warmth, um, which is very cool. Uh, and overall, we're going to start taking a look at some of these sets. As I explained, there are still some remnants of my sister's room here. So we have this here. That's going to come down eventually. There are also these little flowers here. Um, so if anyone was wondering, that's what those are. I don't put those up there. Uh, so starting off over here, we have some general ships. We have uh, my most icely section. We have two land speeders there. Great set. Uh, move down. We have a little bit of a rebel resistance fleet. You move down even further, you have your Separatist fleet, which is actually really cool. And then you move down, you just get some general play sets. You got uh, the dual on Geonosis, Rancor Pit, that sort of stuff. Now let's move over a little bit. Uh, and here we have some Millennium Falcons. We have two, the 2011 Falcon and the 2019 Falcon. Very cool sets. The U-Wing is also very cool. We have a little bit of an Endor ATRT Walker section here. Uh, we have one of my coolest ones, which is a recent edition, and we can zoom in on this. Uh, it is a custom little mock-up of the scene from The Mandalorian, made with only three of the Dark Trooper battle packs, which is a really good. Like, it looks really good. Um, then we're going to move down further. We have a custom one-stud Moff Gideon Cruiser. I did a video on this a while back. did pretty well. We also have a custom Mandalorians and one Starfighter. We're going to move down a little further. We have some Revenge of the Sith and Return of the Jedi. So one of the coolest sets of all time here. The uh, Palpatine's Arrest set, iconic. You have some boring sequel stuff down there, so I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, and then moving over, we have the legendary clone army. We can zoom in there. We've got three full base plates now of clone army, which is insane. Uh, we have this plate right here. This is going to be a lot of phase one and a lot of the more miscellaneous. We have Geonosius, Kashyyyk clones, plain white clones, phase one clones. This is my 501st plate, which now has Captain Rex at the helm. One of the rarest Star Wars minifigures of all time. Just amazing, amazing stuff right there. Uh, and then we have Captain Vaughn, all these other people. Uh, just an amazing thing. And then over at that base plate, it gets a little more obscure. You have a little bit variety. It's mostly Phase 2 clones over here. And uh, customs, clone recustoms there. Uh, this is what I use to open a lot of boxes in my haul videos, which is pretty cool. And we're going to move over here. Uh, and this is a table right here. This is not as much collection. This is kind of like where I prep videos and I'll prep things. So I'm doing like a Jedi Army video. I'll put all my Jedi there. I have a clone helmet. Uh, and like a little thing right here, Republic Dropship. Now over here, we're going to move over to one of my mocks, which I actually started building about two weeks ago last year to the date. Uh, it's a very nice mock in my opinion. We will probably be displaying this at Brick Fair, Virginia. I'm going to be putting all the minifigures back up on it. Very excited about that. Uh, and then we're going to move over, actually, under this green table, which is usually not here um, because I, I usually don't like it here. Uh, but I needed it for an auction prep, and we have some stuff we're going to be selling down there. Uh, I also have a bag full of all of the little bags in there. Uh, so we have, like, like boxes and bags of minifigures. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Okay, now I'm going to need to take the camera because uh, this is a little hard of an angle to get. Uh, but we have a lot of speeders up here. Uh, we have a lot of First Order stuff. I did a First Order Army video, and I am not taking these guys off the plates. I am sorry. We also have uh, the Star Destroyer and all of my Empire stuff. We have the, uh, I believe that's the 2016 ATSD. We have a lot of Republic stuff down there. A lot of Republic stuff. Running out of space. Palpatine Shuttle, Jedi Defender, and some non-Star Wars stuff down there. And then also in this corner, this is how I sort all my minifigures. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff here. So like if I want, uh, say, say Rebels, you go in here. If I want Mandos, I go in there. 
that's kind of my system. I have some minifigure parts areas, so if I need to part together a figure, lots of brick separator sections, an old microphone I used in the videos um, and live streams I don't really use anymore. We have some like May 4th promos here, like R2, um, special stuff with the White House. Very neat stuff. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this nice room tour. You get a feel for how I work and everywhere I work. Uh, and it's really kind of just neat. This would be like if I'm bringing you into my house and show, giving you a tour of the area. This is just kind of what I'd be showing you. Um, so please don't come to my house now because I, I'm, I'm... Okay. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe you guys were just about to click off this video without liking it. What's the deal? Why, why'd you do that? Don't, don't do that. Click that like button. I'm still waiting. Okay, you can go now.